I got in queue just a tad late compared to normal. But still, not too bad. Dex, go sleepy. Go to bed. Okay. I'm probably going to be a little bit slower than normal, but hopefully not too slow. Yeah, yeah, we're going to play kind of like a normal Guardian. This build, basically. And we're just relying on the passive tree to make the build not suck. Go sleepy, Dex. Go sleepy. Is there a POE? Today it was released because I was playing it and you're still playing 10 years later. There you go. Yeah, eventually we're respecting to this abomination. We'll have to see if that works well enough or not. And I got with like the um, the meta of um, uh, Atlas Tree stuff. What is it called? Oh, is POE planner like crashing? <laughs> Wandering path strat. Yeah. I'm not playing Ruthless. This is a return to regular solo cell sound. Uh, I'm going to level uh, Absolution all the way. Absolution. Um, I don't know if it's buffed or nerfed. Because I don't know if the Empowered Absolution does more damage. But it has 40 CDR on the gem now from quality bonuses. But Vol Absolution is without any doubt buffed. So the skill overall is buffed. And the main contender for Absolution was uh, SRS. And um, it is up to debate because they, you know, they didn't put the numbers out. But uh, I believe SRS is nerfed. Quite a lot, potentially. <clears throat> Same specters. I don't think they're giving us meaningful specters. Explaining the build. Um. Well, we have a little bit of time here. I can just explain it here real quick. So... It's a pretty normal Absolution build, but instead of getting a lot of, like, the middle minion nodes and stuff, we're using double cluster. But instead of using the cluster where we scale the nodes, we actually have... We're actually using the notable nodes. These are pretty easy to roll if you use uh, roll crit on harvest. So we're going to do harvest a lot. 
We're using the small ones because we have to be point efficient because that's the only way to get uh, a ridiculous amount of maximum chaos res. And the reason we want maximum chaos res is because we're using divine flesh. 50% of elemental damage is taken as chaos damage. And we're going to try to get incandescent heart, which is 25% of elemental damage taken as chaos damage. So if we get hit for like 100 cold, 75 cold becomes chaos. Our chaos resist is 90 or close to 90. And then we have 10% of armor applies to chaos damage from hits. So we're actually tankier than a juggernaut for elemental damage. Uh, yeah, these are not too hard to get SSF. Uh, but the secret sauce is Dawnbreaker. And Dawnbreaker uh, converts cold and lightning as well. So from the 25 remaining cold damage out of a 100 hit, 20 of it goes to fire damage. So what that means is when we do like the heavy bosses that have penetration, they have like 20 or 30 cold pen with their attacks, which is why they hit so hard. Uh, we don't actually take cold damage. Uh, like if Shaper does his cold balls, uh, 75 of the cold becomes chaos and armor reduces it to nothing. And out of the 25 remaining, 20 of it goes to fire, so he doesn't get the penetration value applying the element. The other thing that makes this build super crazy is you get a lot of spell block um, playing Guardian, you get a couple of the nodes. Uh, but with Dawnbreaker, we can skip attack block entirely. We have almost cap attack block. So normally Dawnbreaker has like, yeah, it has like 50 block, but it's... Uh, minus one block for every 200 fire damage taken from hits recently. But the thing is that we don't actually take very much fire damage because the fire damage gets converted to chaos. So this build this this build actually utilizes almost the entirety of the block chance of Dawnbreaker. So this shield is like 2,000 armor, 50 block, an insane amount of survivability through conversion mechanics. And a little bit of bonus Scorch when you block. Yeah, it's just absolutely out of control. So the combo of those three items is ridiculously powerful. Dawnbreaker, Incandescent Heart, and Divine Flesh. Um, but to make those three work and still have a functioning build is kind of tricky. And that's where you can use the PoE command to get this build if you want. Uh, it's it's like uh, 8 million DPS absolution. Um, uh, POB uses the normal absolution, so it's going to be a little higher than this. Maybe it's like 10 million. And this doesn't include any of the new stuff, so maybe it's more than 10 million. But more importantly, the effective health pool is 500,000. And I've never seen a health pool that high, except for like life on block. There's no life on block. I mean, you're playing a minion build with max block. You're not going to be getting hit that much. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I've never seen a tankier build than this. This is the tankiest build I've ever seen outside of life on block mechanics. For solo cell found gear. I have seen tankier builds than these in, like, trade league with, like, literal millions of armor smite... Uh, smite champion with like 2 million armor, I've seen that. Uh, so yes, you, you, can, you can get tankier, but I think the build I made is reasonable. It's a little ambitious, but it's reasonable for solo cell phone. The first major hurdle is getting a Dawnbreaker, and uh, it doesn't have to roll very well, but because armor is so important, I want the base armor roll to be a good roll. Once we get a near maximum base armor roll, because sacred orbs are really rare, um, we can go and do Eater of Worlds farming um, and try to like divine it up. Uh, Taste the hate isn't like make or break. I think I think it helps, but it's not like not like crazy. Is there a Kirox Vault? Do I need to buy that? Oh, Q's going down. Okay. Uh, so I'm not going Ruthless, because I just want to experience the regular game. Um, other than this league, 
Next league is probably the last one before um, a PoE 2 beta. There's not a lot of leagues left, right? I mean, I haven't played normal game in more than a year. I haven't played a normal game in like a year and like a few months. Q's going down super fast. 6,000 positions in two minutes. Can't tell if the drops are higher, just faster. Probably both. Oh yeah, I probably do have drops. My account is linked. Do you guys see the drops? Yes, I see the drops. Let me in. Thirty-five million DPS poison starter. I'm sure there's gonna be a few really broken builds. Uh, great solo cell found affliction. Swift and silent, he stole the bounty of others. Okay. We're gonna mule. Momentum is like a little meta for muling, so we're gonna try to do that. SSF Affliction League, yes. Dex, go sleepy. Dex, go sleepy. You're being a bad boy. Time ticks. I might play Ruthless next league. I don't feel the changes are that significant for Ruthless this league. SSF affliction, sure. Yes. He swore sinewing soul to serve God and the order of the Templar. For years you built a life. Um, I don't really judge games before they are released. Not too heavily, anyway. Huey 2 looks really good, but... It doesn't... It just doesn't mean that much. Chance to freeze. Oh, okay. No pants. Oh my God has no 
no need for my company just yet. Um. Let's just get the 30 life ring, that's fine. My nightmares. Oh, I need like a blue blue, don't I? Glacial hammer anymore, that's fine. And why am I doing mud flats first? I think the racers do mud flats first, though. I don't know why. But I'm not used to the potion keybind. Yeah, they're pretty slow. We can kill those. Guess I missed it. Absolutely kill blues. Do I want to do the mechanic? Flame wall, holy relic, frost bomb. Stay sharp out there. Yes. Impulse. Here I'll get holy relic. I think it's also frost blink that I want. Need to get more blue sockets. There, there. The level run the same each season? Yeah, it's pretty much the same.
probably shouldn't level momentum actually. Arcane Surge. But these were not garbage. Why are they garbage? Phantasm. Okay, so we gotta we gotta sell that. We gotta buy Phantasm and Holy Flame Totem. Be well. I would like some links, but hey, okay. I can't ID the boots. Still alive. Farewell. Fine. Roll lift there. Arcane search doesn't need leveling. It's fine. Holy relic we need. Holy flame totem. Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, dude, the boss is here? Are you kidding me? And I'm in a dead end. Nice. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I've, I've never seen that. The boss is on the waypoint, and you are in a dead end. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Wrong one. Okay. Um. Should I be skipping the mechanic? I know you can get like good bonuses on your very first one. Yeah, the answer to that question is almost always yes. That's why that's why I'm asking it. Well. This Glyph Lord too. 
Oh, you always get frost blink. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Okay. Movement speed. Three different sets of blues here. Yeah, frost blink damage. True. Keep forgetting. Should I go with a little bit of damage earlier, or should I just rush the minion node? I just want to rush the minion node, even though I know it's probably not the best idea. Need a level momentum anymore. I think that goat horn is really good. I don't have a second. I'm gonna go for minion damage. Holy Relic. Let's get Phantasm going. Put Phantasm on what? The Rolling Magma I can put it on, yeah. Actually, decent. Okay. Uh, 
should make the swap. I got, I got a plus one lightning wand already. Shits. Is it a three blue link? Yeah, it is, but I can't identify it. Holy relic. stuff to ID, so... Prison reward, combustion, I think added lightning is what we use. I go to Brutus. Oh wait, um, I didn't do the trial. getting the life things. Or we could just keep yellowing. Answers here, heretic, in Ray class. But I don't think you'll Let's blink on there. We're playing Absolution. Your 
You get so much loot in here. What the hell? You you automatically go to the port there, right? Slime vitality. I need to use a shield, don't I? Stay sharp out there. Um. And move speed again. LA. That one's fine, it's got rarity. Shield charge is what I want. Oh, that's a transmute? Jeez. I was hoping for something cheaper. What about flame dash? Go transmit. Okay. Okay, shield charge it is. God hasn't abandoned us. I'll have another red for that. Awesome. Yep. I need a level zombie. Wanted to get like two out of date. And I need to get the trial done. Oh, it's there. Oh, shit, that is pretty damn slow. speed again. That's very nice. Prisoner's Gate. They're always down or something. forest right now. And I don't think this shield charge thing is worth it at all. It's causing it to run slower, and I'm doing less damage. Rustic Sash is quite nice, but I think I'll keep that. 
fact that I didn't realize that the Burning Menace was there really goes to show the difference between Ruthless and not. It's just crazy. Added fire is pretty legit. Socketed cold gems. I don't think that's a thing. If you must take the uh, absolution. Still alive, are we? Don't really have any great links for it, unfortunately. Um, Farewell. Still yeah, that's alive, the wand I would use. Uh, let's see. Blue, blue. I need like a red, red, blue. Gotta keep Stay an eye shot. out for it, I suppose. Absolution, vitality. And yeah, we're not using uh, rolling magma anymore. Mostly, uh, I'm kind of screwed on like links. I need red, blue, blue. Oh, even red, red can work. I don't have any red, red either. Okay. Is unlinked absolution very ruthless? Crazy dead end. Don't really need these rares. Is 
the dude far? Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty far. are not important. Solution, Phantasm, and I think right now added lightning. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. 30 area. Now it kind of makes sense to actually use a shield. I mean, I don't think I'm going to use the flame wall. Um, Arcane Surge, I think, will actually help with mana, though. But I probably shouldn't be leveling it. Vitality's up. Yes, we've got a transmit, so we could go for another gem. Yeah, that was the boss, actually. Any of these good? Yes, that is really good. In Surge, Frost Blink, we'll see about the shield. Okay, yeah, that's all fine. Let me just get... Flame Dash. Take care. And now we probably want to go for the converted attack speed, but there's a lot of good things to get. speed. Well, hell yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's that's manageable. I could do that. Forty minute act one. <laughs> not my best, but uh not too far off actually. I'm always quite slow in act one. Oh we got an essence. Two spells, Lightning damage, two attacks, two attacks. Uh. Well, I think you can get minion damage this early. But I think added lightning is better with the phantasms.
first. So twisted. Okay, greater life is fantastic. Another greater mana is not needed. First to sins. Your game crashes every time in Lion's Watch. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Should get um, Holy Relic going. Have the slots for it. It's a ghosted one. Oh, we, now we have to kill it, right? Hurts. With keen move speed, well, there's a red. It's the totem. I kinda like the totem. Shield. Spell damage. Spell damage is not super worth it. I think I'll keep using my shield because it has attack speed. Oh my god, I got them backwards again. Uh, that's Holy Relic, yes. with mana. That one has lightning resist. Holy relic and zombie. Click on the waypoint, I think. Maybe we can drop Holy Flame Totem or better boots. Ready, exile. Yes. This man, the lair of a toy maker with pretensions of gold. You crash loading into town. Sorry. Supposed to be one there. Uh, there's not really many alt quality gem, whatever things that are worth anything. Really. 
cat's claw. I should get that. Whatever. Need more wisdom scrolls, dude. Oh, we're gonna need a red pretty soon, actually. Whoa. Yeah, so is this, yeah. Scrolls twenty eight. Wow, even better, dude. What the hell? Ah, I'm not gonna use those gloves. Fine. I can use those Bravo boots. Off. I do need. Jewel. It's effective jewel socket passive skills containing corrupted magic jewel. What does that even mean? Probably work with that. Till next Ready, exile. It is time to hunt. Sucks. Whoa. I don't need broadswords. Funny though. need chromatic items that much, so... Is this game mode plus one chaos? Oh, 
That's more loot than you see in like almost the entire campaign in Ruthless. I don't think you can get a 20 here. Fizz to Lightning is Weaver, if I'm not mistaken. You are thus blessed, daughter of God. He will show you what true friendship is. I like it because it's got um, decent base and three links. The wild stuff's kind of rippy. How fast can you activate like one of the guys though? Because the 30 move speed one is crazy, right? 50 all res with nothing in hat, 30 move speed, nothing in boots. Dex, quiet. to lightning is to lightning is oh, these are pretty cheap 
Can't really use them though. I'd rather use the plus one that I have currently. Yes. All this crap, I guess. Raider. Goodbye. What troubles you? Return if you must. Parallel. That's fine. That's on that? No. I don't care so much for cold resist right now, so that's fine. Oh, I'm definitely going the wrong way. They're all in a 25k tournament. Oh yeah, I think I got invited to that, but, uh... I don't usually take, uh, promo offers that are based off of... Like, tournament play. Because it's like... We'll pay you this much per hour to play in our tournament, or like... Good luck in winning the tournament for a game you've never played before. I've, I've done that so many times, and it's been fun, like, almost never, maybe like once or twice. Even, even Twitch has run a few of those that are just horrible. I got invited to a Runeterra tournament. And they're like, yeah, we're only going to invite people that don't play Runeterra regularly. I'm like, perfect. I'm in. That sounds awesome. And like, do you know who my first match was? Swim. Played like 10 hours of Runeterra since it came out. And do you know what deck I was using for the tournament? It was off of his website. Yeah. The deck that I chose to use for the tournament was Swim's deck to play Swim. I actually beat him, but I didn't do well in the tournament, obviously. I don't know, it's just fucking bullshit to, to do that, because... I don't know, it's not like I care that much, but I know some people get, like, the wrong idea. They're like, oh, this Crip guy, he's not good at card games. Because a lot of people won't know who Swim is, right? It's like, ah, Crip can't win tournaments anymore. It's like, okay, guys, relax. And for for games that I haven't played at all, it's like even more more of a disaster. Like Runeterra, I at least kind of know the base mechanics of the game pretty well, but it can't be said for a lot of the other games. Like I'll do like a playthrough of a card game. You know, it's interesting to see what they're doing these days, but generally we reject the offers that are come play in our tournament, you could win X amount of money thing. I don't really need more life. I can probably just beeline it for the minion damage. Good. Not really. Oh, wasn't the other thing on the other level?
damn. Farewell. Quite the late. Us there. Sockets from momentum, huh? Heard you pulled. Oh, bubble. Are crashing towns. <laughs> well, that's rough. But yeah, can you get the first Ascendancy passives from the new ones quickly? starts early. You just got an ascendancy in Act 2. Oh wow, okay. Solutions twenty three. 
me. and strength quite nice. Take that. God. Yeah, I feel like even though I don't have to mule, I hate the campaign more in the regular game. It's all about just like going fast and it's like mindless. There's always zero challenge. Holy crap, what the hell? Is it... Is it here? No, it's not. Okay. Is it there? Nope. What the fuck? this league. Thought I'd check out the regular game. Does the Vault Pass have, like, rewards in it? Like, maps and stuff? And is that part of the free stuff?
see you soon. How big is the game? I don't know, 30 gigs or something. Quite a bit higher than I need to be. Zero procs. Dude, this is like supposed to be 25%. What the hell? There we go. Jesus Christ, what is that? What is that? Am I really gonna need all those items? one minion. Well, it's not plus one minion, but that is, that is quite good. And arena, that guy's zooming. Lost in love is convocation, determination, purity of elements. 
weakness. Big. How is Einhar in every zone? Like, he is in every zone. Nothing else. God, I have to go to crematorium for that. Crematorium is in that other dead end. Wow. Reds, I believe. I think that's gonna slow me down 5%, though, so I don't know if I really care for that. that, but I also need to do a trial here, and it is a bit of a pain in the ass to do it twice. Oh. Okay. Well, it's either from the waypoint or down here. If it's from the waypoint, I will do it after. Looks like it's from the waypoint. Dead man and a living machine. There's your truth, heretic. Whoa.
Here we need to do a little bit more. Uh, on vocation, yes. Um, probably start leveling determination. Flame Totem can go die. Uh, I mean, complication is fine. Yeah, the thing is up here. Yeah, I've heard of people having issues with uh, game crashes. All around on that one, too. Can't level steel skin, that's fine. I don't even you already use that, really. First alchemy arm. I think any kind of superior quality gem is worth taking. Surge anymore. The trial and crematorium, I always forget. I think it is. Crematorium and the other thing. Oh, I don't have show quests. Uh. Go sleep. Crazy for the squirrels. 
Okay, where are we at? Uh, that's nothing. Dex. Sleepy. Uh, should probably do... Also nothing. Steel skin and shield charge can't level, that's fine. Um have no squirrels where you're from? How does that happen? Squirrels are like everywhere I've ever been in my life almost. Hawaii doesn't have them, really. Okay. Stay out of the shed. Let me go back and get some stuff here. So we want. Minion damage. That one, and we want spirit offering. That one. And we kind of want like two double blues. Wow. It's actually crazy. What the hell? While we live, we have Do I have blues here? Not a lot, no. I mean, sure. After playing Ruthless for a year, it is so bizarre how, like, just mobs are just shitting loot like crazy. Can't even believe they're dropping this much stuff. Maybe they're, like, loot overhaul. They made them drop, like, way more or something. I don't know. the dexterity for that, but if I get plus one minion, find a way. Go there. Can't go there. That's the one that's four.
Uh, Absolution is pretty decent with bosses if you use Phantasm. And if you don't use Phantasm, it is pretty crap. However, uh, the SRS nerf is between minor to potentially very severe. So the competition has uh, gone down this patch a little bit. So the alternative, that is. Absolution is uh, probably not too different than last patch. But Vol Absolution is without a doubt way stronger. And you do use Vol Absolution. It's a very good gem. This figure gem is cracked for SRS with pops. Maybe. Uh, I imagine they're still pretty good. Like I don't, I don't imagine SRS is a bad skill now. Uh, like they said, they changed the 40 multi to be a combination of some hidden multi and increased base damage, which basically means added damage got nerfed by up to 40%. But yeah, if you take away 40%, it's still pretty good. But if you take away 40%. Suddenly, Absolution's looking uh, a little bit better. But we don't know how much they took away from the base. Uh, from the multi and put it on the base. We, we, we don't know, right? Oh my god, I didn't get the sewers. a new source because if you go backwards you almost have to encounter are not particularly strong with the build, so can do that.
think getting the Sentinel first is the way to go here. this game a lot. Goodbye. Okay, that's dead, I guess. 